Today on Place Name Here, we're going to be talking about Big Man Japan. Hello everyone, welcome to Place Name Here. My name is Sean Miller. And I'm Tony Dalton. So, have you ever noticed how many versions of Monopoly there are? Yes, very many ridiculous versions. I don't know why I'm bringing it up. You're the one who actually owns like major like like the majority I of the don't kinds own... of Monopoly that exist. I've played a lot of them. You know, the original Monopoly was what based on Atlantic City mm -hmm. and you know, you you know, this is a normal Monopoly. Most if you don't know how how to, what Monopoly is, Google Monopoly. I'm not going to explain Monopoly, but we got a really cool Monopoly. Uh, well, first, you have, like, what conversions of Monopoly Have I there? played, or? We should have, like, looked it up and, like, known what the versions no, of No, we never do were. anything beforehand. Well, I own, like, a 1970s version just because it's cool to play with that older version every once in a while. Um, I own the You Build It one, which is pretty cool. You Where Build you, It? What's that like? You can make your own track out of different pieces that you put together. Um, like a track, like what, and then you run around it? Like Yeah, you just, there's like little like hexagonal monopoly, pieces. Monopoly track and field and like... Yes, and you so need you the throw, power pad and you put holes in your living room and floor. And you throw, you throw a discus and, yes. and or a shot put. A shot put into a, the hotel. And a javelin. And the javelin all right, has all right. to go and... Okay, so shtick. what's shtick. that one called? You Build It Monopoly. Okay. They have a whole bunch of You Build It games out there. Really? Yeah. You can build your own game. Yeah, and even the one that really confuses me, You Build It Mousetrap. R right, because... Pretty that's, sure that was always a... That's how you do... You Build It Mousetrap. I don't know. I've never tried it. But I, I own the You Build It one. I own the old one. My parents actually own the Penn State one. Penn Stateopoly. Penn Stateopoly. Nobody in my family has ever gone to Penn State. But they know all about it because they play Penn Stateopoly. They know where all the stuff is. I'll yeah. bet you. I'll bet you the corner room is one of the uh, one of the spots on. There. I don't know, but that sounds. I'll dirty. bet you it is the corner room. Yeah. <laughs> playing tonight at the corner room. <laughs> Dancing Tony and his Go Go's. I don't know. What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. Uh, don't think about it. Monopoly, yeah, Penn State Monopoly. So there's a whole lot of monopolies yes. now. There's like, there's like basically a monopoly for anything. I feel like I saw someone that just didn't make any sense. There's like a million of them that don't make sense. Dungeons and Dragons Opoly. Well, that see, might be a thing. What I if I just know. Google Opoly? No, don't. <laughs> he is literally. You're gonna find some really horrible things, Ivo. Rodeo. Rodeo Opoly. No. No. That's not a real thing. That's not a. Words containing Opoly. This um, is the best show ever. That's probably ever. not the way to do that. No. How would you do it? Types of Monopoly. Okay. And while he's doing that, uh, one of the other things that, that we have talked about is how many different rules that there are just for your basic Monopoly game. Right. How there's what you would call house rules, things that aren't generally in the rules, but people use, and I mean, we just talked about the, anytime you land on luxury tax, instead that money goes You pay to the, the taxes yeah. to free parking. Yeah, you put it on free parking. And then when you land on free parking, you get all that money. And yeah, so that's, that's a cool. generally accepted one. Um, this- uh, Does anybody actually know the real rules to Monopoly? Um, I think that there are, there are different variants on the same rules. The original rules um, are quite <laughs> different. No, the Wikipedia I just found was, Monopoly, what an actual Monopoly yeah, is. Yeah, that isn't going to help you. Not the game. No. Monopoly. But the original rules Types to of Monopoly. Monopoly. So it's giving me like different oh. organizations that had Monopolies at one time. This is such an organized show right now. It's well, fantastic. you know, it's just what it is, is it's the, uh, it's a, the, the stream of consciousness. Yes. It's, uh, you know, we like to just go with the flow, with the stream flow. Um, I play Monopoly, if you want a shorter game, I play the Monopoly where you hand all the properties out at the beginning, you randomize it, and then it just becomes a brokerage game where everyone's trying to trade with that's each other. That's ridiculous. My wife and I would always play... Uh, <laughs> just, that's ridiculous. Blow by it. Uh, my wife and I would always play the... Uh, uh, 
the video game for PlayStation oh, One. Actually. PS One. The Monopoly. PS One Monopoly game. Uh, that one was good. There's a U.S. version, U.K. version. Your phone is on. You're gonna take a phone call on the show, aren't you? No, I'm not. Oh. Um, Where's it from? It's still vibrating. It's home. No, it's not. Um, mm. Oh, there's like House Rules Monopoly, Endgame. Endgame? Monopoly on my phone. I like Monopoly. Monopoly. Endgame. I gotta look that one up. Endgame. Strategy Monopoly. Monopoly. Endgame? I don't know. Oh, it's, yes. One common criticism of Monopoly is that it's carefully defined, yet almost unreachable term... Uh, Termination conditions. Edward P. Parker, a former president of Parker Brothers, is quoted saying, We always felt that 45 minutes was about the right length of a game, but Monopoly could go on for hours. Yes. Oh, it's just end game, like when's the game end? Yes. So it wasn't a So, so what, what are your end game rules? Is it just when you're out of money? Um, I don't, honestly, I don't think I've ever legitimately finished a game of Monopoly really? where, where, where a definite winner had been achieved. I feel like we all just go, you know what, I, I'm really tired of playing this game. I think a lot of people play Monopoly like with grandparents and stuff like that. And then by the end of it, when you're in like the fifth hour, you just want to punch grandma in the throat. Right. So that's why a lot of that's people exactly don't play That's exactly what it. I do. Um, um, you punch grandma in the throat. Right. <laughs> I've played I've played four player Monopoly for six hours and won. And wow. by like one one because like well I mean what how do you win? I just wanna get oh that brings up a good question. We got one for my daughter, a little like a, a, a Monopoly game for kids, and what it does is it has a little cash machine that you put a little debit card in and it takes money out, it like shoots the money out of like a guy's face. Like a Mac the Mac machine looks like a guy. Like a face. Mac machine? It's like Mac! How 80s. And you know, <laughs> it's Mac machine. <laughs> Shut up, ATM. <laughs> Shut up, Tony. <laughs> Shut up, stupid Tony. <laughs> money access center. Right. You put the card in, and it shoots money out. Well, the way that that game ends is when that when that machine does spits it, no longer spits out money, the game's just over. So then you just go, whoever has the most money and assets uh, wins the game. But it doesn't have it doesn't have the mortgaging or anything. It doesn't oh, have any of that okay. stuff because it figures you're probably gonna you're gonna be done before you can mortgage your yeah your property. The strategy is out of it. And yeah. also, you get a, one of the ways it speeds up the game is you get a house on your property the second you buy. It. Oh. So you don't have to actually buy it, then like later on put houses on it and mm. hotels. And you can upgrade to hotels. It's like a very abbreviated version. I forget what it's called. It's designed for kids so you can play it really fast. And, and it's great. Miniature it has these little, little uh, debit cards you put in the, the Mac machine. And uh, I should have, I think I still have Mac. a Mac card in my wallet. Mac machine. Um, so, <laughs> so. So that's definitely a version of Monopoly. And then one of the other things is how many unlicensed versions of Monopoly? Right, like the Penn State Opoly, I don't think it's licensed. I doubt that that's licensed. That's what I mean, like there's there's like weird ones, like they don't have anything to do with towns. That's what I was trying to figure out. I can't I wanna, really find it. Like, I would love to have Quaker Town Opoly. Like unlicensed. That's where I'm from. Unlicensed Monopoly, like that's probably not a good way to search either. You, you have to go to like library services and let them teach you how to search. Yeah, I don't know. Is it is it bad that I'm using Alta Vista? Mm. What's a good search engine kids use these days? Ask, Meta crawl. Ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves. Uh, the new <laughs> Mac. It's interesting what came up when I typed in unlisted Monopoly or unlist. Unlistens. Un shut up. I can't type either on an iPad. Why do you own it? Because it's so awesome to act <laughs> pretentious with it. Yeah, check out my iPad. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I got nothing. Look up your look up the versions of Unlicensed Monopoly. I'm sure you've seen Unlicensed Monopoly. That's, that's a band name right there, Unlicensed Monopoly. If you can if you say can, it. If you can say it. See, we're back at Sean not being able to pronounce things. The, the tip of the tongue, the, the teeth, the lips. <laughs> oh, no, Brown Cow. How now, brown cow? 
So anyway, that's our episode on Monopoly. Go ahead and check us out. I know one of our viewers has an interesting story to tell about Monopoly, and that viewer is my dad. My dad once played the longest game of Monopoly in the history of mankind. I'm pretty sure. Was it Monopoly or Risk? I don't remember. Stratego. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was Stratego. Or was it D-Day? Remember that game? Ugh. D-Day. D-Day. They had a PlayStation version of that, too. Of course they did. They it have was a like PlayStation the same, version of Risk. It was the same thing. Like, it was the octagon pieces or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, like, and then when you would play, it would, like, zoom in on the battle and stuff. But it was still a board bum, game. Bum, bum, bum. Board games on as video games is very, you know, I, although the cleanup is way easier. You're just, like, power off. Done. Yeah, that goes for a lot of video games. To clean up. I do that when I clean up regular video games, too. Clean up. Being, Power off. Being easier. Power off. It just doesn't work when it's a board game. Yeah. So. We don't have the dice. You oh, well. goofed. I guess we're going to do our old ending. You goofed. Want to do our old ending? Just for old sake. Can we do it again? All right. Wait. <laughs> so if it went down, then we should. Oh, yeah. We should back. raise it. Up. All right, so now we just... Now we just bam. <laughs> Play me out, Sam. Play me out, Sam. <laughs> bam. Breathe heavily towards the camera. <laughs> really got an air. Oh, I just... I give myself... I, I'm lightheaded. What did I really? just do? Oh. You just, you're going to pass out? Oh. You're going to pass out? I don't know. You right, man? Tunnel vision? Oh. Everything just go like that? <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>